I personally love when I turn a corner and I find a piece of art in the wall. Um, I love seeing art in the, mixed into the urban context. With the mural, I was all the designs that I was doing, they were getting some traction on, on social media. And the Academy gave me this incredible opportunity to portray in one of the walls. So for me to have one of my paintings in one of their campuses, um, it's a huge honor. One of the biggest challenges was how to transfer the drawing to this gigantic wall. When we came here on Friday night, it took us a couple of hours to set it right. We ended up being across the street projecting the, the mural and only with a, a very soft, dim light. But it was enough for me just to trace the shapes. And the advantage of this style is that it's based on graphic asymmetrical shapes. So the light as well as the, the shadows, there are graphic shapes. It's a mixture between pop art and cubism. When they approached me to the mural, I thought I was, was going to get it done in one day. And I was talking to one of my friends and he told me, there's no way. Uh, and he was right. But I realized, I didn't expect this to happen, but I realized once I started mixing the paint and placing the drawing on the wall and starting painting, uh, you get to focus on your work. And it was pretty much the same except when I was like hanging from a 20 feet ladder. The idea of the mural came from a drawing that I did on my sketchbook. I was drawing a caricature of Salvador Dali and I realized that his head was very uh, rectangular. And as an exercise, I thought to myself how many little asymmetrical shapes I could get away portraying his likeness and his personality. And I started doing these sort of tests, experiments, to see if I could capture the integrity of their likeness and personalities uh, with the very minimum shapes. Frida Kahlo was one of the first ones. And I started with a portrait of her and then started removing as many elements as I can without losing Frida. Regardless of all the challenges that I have to paint the mural, and even though I was exhausted, I couldn't wait to come back to paint the mural the next morning. It's for me, it's an honor to have a piece of my work in the city of San Francisco and one of the academy buildings, and I hope it's the first one of many to come. My name is Nicolás Villarreal. I'm a character designer and animator for movies and video games.